Do you know why this thing is called a defibrillator? Well, the word fibrillation comes from the Latin word fibrilla, meaning a tiny fiber. In this case, we're talking about the muscle fibers in your heart. When someone's in fibrillation, those fibers are all twitching out of sync. The heart's not squeezing, it's just kind of quivering like a bag of worms. It looks alive, but it's not actually pumping any blood. So what does a defibrillator do? Well, the D means to stop or reverse, so a defibrillator's job is to stop that twitching or fibrillation. It's like resetting your computer by turning it off and on again, but for your heart. It's mainly used to treat two rhythms, ventricular fibrillation and pulseless ventricular tachycardia. Those are fancy ways of saying that the bottom chambers of the heart are either twitching too fast to pump or they're just completely out of control. The defibrillator sends a huge jolt of electricity through the chest, hoping every cell in the heart stops at once and then restarts together in sync. A lot of people think that it's supposed to jumpstart a heart that's flatlined or completely stopped, but that's not true. You can push meds, you can do CPR, you might even be able to put a pacemaker on it, but sending a jolt of electricity through a heart that's already stopped isn't gonna help. The defibrillator works by resetting an uncoordinated heart rhythm, not by reviving a stopped one. This isn't Frankenstein. So next time you see a defibrillator on TV and they shout clear while somebody's already flatlined, you can roll your eyes and be like, that's not how that works.